So I might be breaking some news to some people, but I think the majority of people have probably seen this already. But for the, for those that haven't seen it, Israel Adesanya's talked about how he's going to be taking a break from fighting for a bit. Now I'm not quite sure how long this break's going to be, because he said he's going to be easy. He said. I'm not going to retire. I am going to fight again. I'm not going out like that. But he didn't give like a specific time timeline or anything for when he's going to be fighting again. He just said he's going to be a, take some long time off. So I don't know what a long time off is in Israel Adesanya's mind. Obviously, I, 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 I don't know what goes through Izzy's head, but you know that could mean for him because he's very active a long time off could mean that maybe he comes back mid next year or the end of next year like maybe take six months off or something like that like we don't really know but at the very least i would imagine he's not going to be fighting at the beginning of next year who knows though he'll probably if he gets offered a ufc 300 fight i'm sure he would take that but at the very least i think he is going to take at least like five six months off so maybe that would line up perfect you know, perfectly for UFC 300, but I'm not sure. I don't, you know, I can't give an estimate of when his timeline is. So I'm just going to base this video on that Israel Adesanya is going to take like most of next year off. I could be wrong there. Who knows? Like, like I say, I don't know. I don't know what goes through his head or what his idea of a long time is. But the man who gets screwed over big time in this, the man who's already been screwed really royally by missing a title shot. He's now getting screwed out of the fight that makes the most sense for him in a number one contender fight. So I'm, of course, talking about Drickus Duplessis. So Drickus Duplessis has been screwed once again. This, this man just keeps getting fucked over. And, yeah, we, I'm going to talk about who Drickus Duplessis could fight. So there is quite a few options for Drickus here. Dana seems to have a bit of a hate boner for him because he didn't take... The fight against Israel Adesanya on short notice, right after beating Robert Whittaker, right when he went in compromised. You know, he, he's pissed off that Drickus didn't turn, turn around in six weeks. And he would have only had about four weeks to train as well, because he said that it would take him a week to get back to South Africa. So, you know, he, he was just, he was going to get really fucked over if he took that uh, Adesanya fight in Sydney. You know, he... He would have been fucked. Like, he would have been going in there so compromised. He wouldn't have had time to, like, train and get a game plan together. Which just, yeah, not not an ideal circumstance at all. Especially because Drickus likes to plan behind his opponents. If you watch, he, he every fight, he always, like, has a great game plan against his opponents. Like, against Whitaker, he definitely studied a lot of Whitaker's flaws. Because he, he did a lot, he worked on a lot of stuff that a lot of fighters had missed on Whitaker, and also he did a lot of stuff that, you know, other fighters have done to Whitaker in previous fights. So yeah, you know that he likes to prepare properly for fighters, especially if it's going to be a championship fight, you know, he's not going to want to go into his first UFC championship. He's not going to want to go into his first UFC championship fight, super compromised as well, because It'll be his first five rounder in the UFC too. You know he needs time to adjust to five rounders as well. Like, yeah, I don't know. The UFC were just trying to make it as much as easy as possible for Israel Adesanya to win. But I think maybe because Sean Strickland went in there and upset him, I think maybe who knows? Maybe Dana's a little salty that his like fucking star attraction ended up losing because of Drickus not taking the fight. Who knows? But he's gonna keep punishing Drickus. So I'm going to talk about the fights that make the most sense. So apparently it is Hamza Chamaya versus Kamara Usman who's getting the next title shot. Apparently that's like confirmed by Dana. So that leaves a few options. My The first option that, in my opinion, is the least likely of these options. But maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Maybe this does happen. But I think you could do a man who, you know, just had a fight that he had to pull out of. But he said that he should be ready at, you know, before the end of the year or maybe early next year. I'm, of course, talking about the man who was meant to fight Hamza Chumayev, Paulo Bahachina Costa, the eraser of himself. You know, he, he wants to get back in there, according to himself. You know, he did have that whole uh, issue with the surgery and everything, but he said that he would be cleared before the end of the year. I imagine he'll probably fight early next year. Because I think most of these cards are probably going to be full up. 
So maybe you could do Drickus Duplessis versus Paulo Costa, maybe a Fight Night main event or something like that. I think that would make some sense. But, like I said, I don't think this is the most likely option. I guess Paulo Costa was apparently going to get offered a title shot if he did beat Hamza Chemaev, but I don't really know how much of that was true. But looking that, you know, now Hamza Chemaev as Kamara Usman's apparently for a title shot, maybe there was a little bit of truth to that. So maybe you could put him in a title eliminator, but I think there's a fight that makes more sense. This would also just depend on the result of another fight I'm going to bring up. But, yeah, I think this is the least likely outcome of the two fights that I think he could make for Drickus. Because, obviously, he can't do Drickus versus Robert Whittaker because he literally just beat him. So that's like an option that's, yeah, not even feasible. You can't really do Drickus versus the winner of Paul Craig versus Brendan Allen. As much as Brendan Allen wants that fight against Drickus Duplessis, it's just not going to happen. You can't do that fight, in my opinion. You know, it's just, yeah, it, it, it wouldn't make sense. You know, he's literally just beat fucking Robert Whittaker. So you sort of got to give him a number one contender fight. Even knowing I know Drickus Duplessis should be fighting for the championship. I'm not denying that. But Dana's going to make him fight another fight. For fucking God knows why. He's just got some fucking vendetta. But, you know, if God forbid a guy wants to fight when they're, you know, at a, you know, they want to fight at 100%. God forbid they want to fight at 100% against Israel Adesanya, you know, that, what a fucking cardinal sin they've made there. But I generally, I think that the fight that makes more sense than Paulo Costa would be doing Drickus Duplessis versus the winner of Jared Cannonier versus Roman Delizzi, which is more, I mean, I'm not going to jinx it. It is middleweight. Weird shit can always happen in the middleweight division. Who knows? Maybe Roman Delizzi goes in there, fucking tears, fucking... Jared can his knee apart, maybe KOs him. Jared's not the most durable guy. We've seen him get rocked against Vittori. But I'm thinking maybe, just maybe we see Trickus Duplessis versus Jared Cannonier or Roman Delizzi, whoever wins that fight. You know, that would probably make the most sense for a number one contender shot. I think maybe if ja uh, Roman Delizzi wins that, maybe it's more likely they do the Paulo Costa versus Trickus Duplessis fight. But who knows, if it is Trickus Duplessis versus Roman Delizzi, maybe you get JP Byers in his corner. If you know, you know. He can, uh, you know, get a payback for his fellow Safi. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like I said, if you know, you know. Uh, shout out to Cheyenne uh, Velismus slash Delizzi. But, yeah, generally, I think that makes that would make the most sense. I feel really bad for Trickus Duplessis, though, like, any man that beats Robert Whittaker should get a title shot, but Dana is not... Like, he, he's on the warpath against fucking uh, Drickus Duplessis. He's not going to re re reward Drickus Duplessis and say, you know what, kid? I'll give you... You get the title shot. You get the shot at the winner of Hamza versus Strickland or the winner of Usman versus Strickland too. You know, he's not going to do that. He's just going to say, no, nah, you got to go fight another fight. Fuck you. I don't know. Uh, like, I feel like they would have done Drickers versus Izzy if he did beat Strickland, because it's such a huge fight, but... Yeah, they, they, they don't want the Drickers versus Strickland fight for whatever reason. Dana just hates it. Like, Drickers has been so active. Like, he's actually a very active fighter. Like, fucking... Like, leave the poor guy alone. Give him his fucking title shot, for fuck's sake. Like, what else does the guy have to do? Does he have to go to fucking Greece and fucking decapitate Zeus while he's at it? Like... I don't know, it's like there's nothing this guy can do, like, to please Dana, like, beat Whittaker, you should get a title shot, he beat Brunson, Jared Kennedy got a title shot off beating Derek Brunson, he beat Darren Till, Darren Till is a really good win, I know people shit on Darren Till, but like, when you look at it, look how good Drickus is now, in hindsight, and he, he actually, he won the second round, so... But I don't know, seems like a really unfortunate situation, for Drickus Duplessis here. But I think his best bet is to get the winner of Cannonier versus Delizzi. I think that's a guaranteed number one contender fight there. Also got a few bad for Jared Cannonier again. That I don't even know why he's fighting this fight against Roman Delizzi. Like it is generally a weird matchup. But it's a, it's a good matchup. I like it. It'll be interesting to see how that one goes. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to go with Jared Cannonier there I think. But it would not surprise me in the least if fucking... Roman Delizzi just wings his big overhands and somehow KOs fucking Jared Cannonier. Because, you know, the middleweight division doesn't make any sense at all. It's one of the weirdest divisions in the world. It is. It's the weirdest division. Nothing at middleweight makes any sense. 
Roma Delizzi will lose to Trevin Giles and then go on to fucking arguably beat Marvin Vittori and then go in and KO fucking Jared Cannonier. It's just how the middleweight division works. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. Hopefully when Izzy comes back, they don't just give him a title shot. Like, especially if he's taking time off. This ain't no fucking GSP, Anderson Silva type situation or, or John Jones situation, I should say. Like, he doesn't get an instant title shot. For, you know, losing his belt fair and square and then taking some time off. That's no reason for an instant title shot, in my opinion. But, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what they do for Drickus Duplicy. But I reckon they're the two options that are most likely. So, Paulo Costa or winner of Delizzi Cannoneer. I can't see it being anyone else. You know, Whitaker doesn't make sense. No way they'll do him versus Vittori. Vittori's coming off a devastating loss to Jared Cannoneer. And I doubt they're going to give him the title shot because Dana just, like I said earlier in the video, he's got a hate boner for Drickus Duplessis just because he wouldn't take a fight on short notice after winning a, the biggest fight of his career. Like, let the guy celebrate for a bit before trying to get him fucking in there banged up and everything against Izzy just so you give Izzy a bigger opportunity to win. But, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. What I think could be next for Drickus Duplessis because of Israel Asanya's lingering time off be interesting to see how long Izzy's out for you know I can already see him putting out a video on his Instagram when he does return you know it'll be like a thing you must you all, all y'all must have forgot you know the Roy Jones quote he'll he'll have that in like a Titan Tron or some shit on his Instagram and then it'll be like highlights of his wins or something and that then he'll announce his comeback that, that's the best bet I see for Israel Adesanya coming back but yeah, I, I, I can just see him doing that on his Instagram, but I don't know. We'll find out in due time. Who knows how long his time off is. He could just be trolling. He could pull a call at Kevin Holland. Remember, Kevin Holland fucking retired and then had a fight booked like two weeks later. So maybe Izzy will say, yeah, I'm taking some time off. And then we see he's booked against Drickus Duplessis in January or something crazy like that. You know, it's it's mixed martial arts. All, all this shit always happens in the UFC. Someone will say they're taking time off for their retiring and they'll literally be back the next week. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see however long he does take off, though. But, yeah, hopefully Drickus Duplessis doesn't get fucked over. If they, if they give, like, Jared Cannonier or Roman Delizzi the title shot, I'd be pissed off. Like, Drickus still arguably deserves it way more. He beat Whitaker, who destroyed Vittori, but also beat Jared as well in the past. So, yeah, you know, in my opinion, it's Drickus. Drickus should be the one getting the next title shot, full stop. But Dana has a hate boner for him, so the best shot... It's Jared Cannonier or Roman Delizzi, whoever wins that fight. But anyway, that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're not already, subscribe.